Hey guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University and Spider-Man, issue 237. Okay, so the big story here is that Miles and his uncle are having a conversation. Now, they start off having an, uh, an education because uh, Miles wakes up and smells some Jimmy Dean sausages being cooked. And, oh, man, let me tell you something. Okay, you know what? Let's not. Let's just forget about the fact that I'm really hungry for some Jimmy Dean right now. <laughs> Let's get on to the idea that he bolts, all right? Camouflages and bolts, whatever. He gets out. Um, he had a chance to actually beat the snot out of the dude at that particular moment because he wasn't in the Iron Spider outfit. Instead, he goes and he bolts and he goes and tells his mom and dad, who, are, who have pretty much made up and promised to not uh, keep secrets from each other, specifically dad keeping secrets from mom. You know the gist. So, um, you know, about Spider-Man's identity. You know, they, they both now know uh, that their son is Spider-Man. And um, he's like, you guys need to go. Go someplace you love. Wait, no, go someplace you've never gone before. Go to Cleveland. Go to Cleveland. Keep your cell phone on. All right. So, you know, he's like, you know, I, I can't tell you too much, but your 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 brother, he's still alive, dad. It's like, what? All right, get out. His mom's like, if he comes near me, tell him I'll cut it off. <laughs> like I almost died on that one. Um anyway, <laughs> I don't think she knows about the iron spider suit. Try it. <laughs> so uh, what do you call it? She, um, they, they both get out of there. They both get out of town and the uncle is waiting outside in the iron spider suit. Now he's like, I allowed them to go, but you know, out of respect, but let's be realistic right now. Don't, don't be stupid. All right, let's have a conversation. So they talk and it's basically just stay out of my affairs. I want to involve you in on the score, but I can see that you're not, you know, in that kind of a place right now. You could tell this dude by the language, like, Look, if you really try to put yourself in, it doesn't happen naturally. You have to actually willfully try to put yourself in the, the shoes of each individual in the story so that you can actually hear the language that they're speaking. Not just, you know, what they're saying, but how they're saying it, what's being said. The story was very well written in that regard, that you can really get a good sense of everybody's mindset here. All right. Lana's mom, absolute drunk. I mean, like she's literally. <laughs> wow, literally talking about, you know, I need you to go to the store. She keeps on saying that over and over again. And it's like, dude, wow, she is so freaking drunk. She's so out of here. Um, violent, abusive, drunk. Uh, and 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 she's lying about, you know, uh, 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 Miles being hurt. Anyway, well, actually, to the best she knows. Anyway, um, and you could tell that um, that the, the Prowler, the Iron Spider, Miles' uncle, is just a little bit loony. All right. He's a little loco en la cabeza and um, not looking good, <laughs> not looking good. So the and, and, and by by loco, I don't mean he's actually crazy. I mean, he's actually got a, a, a serious obsession in his head with what he's going to do. And he doesn't know any other way. He's probably not going to figure out any other way than the way of crime. And of course, he's rationalized a lot in his head. And Miles really seems to understand that about him. So I dig that. He's a smart kid. So all that being said, Hobgoblin goes and messes everything up and tries to kill the Red Hulk. First off, I don't know how this Red Hulk is staying in the Red Hulk form for all this time. It's supposed to be an hour at a, at a shot every 24 hours. But anyway, um, putting all that aside, goes up and tries to kill him and like just antics ensue. It is hysteric. I, I'm sitting there like, oh, this is just going to be fun. <laughs> um, we got the promise of... Hobgoblin and Spider-Man getting into a fight. That absolutely did not happen. I'm very disappointed. I hate it when a cover is advertised a month and a half that this is what's going to happen and it doesn't happen. He's in like, what, three pages, Hobgoblin? And he's not fighting Spider-Man at all. He's fighting Red Hulk instead and it's barely a fight. It's not really a fight. Anyway, um, so next issue, they're showing... Uh, Spider-Man getting drowned by the uh, the Sandman. And I don't believe it. I don't buy it. You know, saying, well, I'm still going to get the issue, but I don't believe that that's actually going to happen in the uh, in in the, the issue. But whatevs, whatevs. Anyway, I, I just don't like the whole clickbait thing. <laughs> All right. Uh, in the meantime, I'm still going to give this comic book a B. This was fun. This there was there was uh, like almost no action at all in this. Realistically, like the only action was a sword swipe and uh, somebody grabbing somebody else's hair. <laughs> That's it. And yet it was still cool. Also, at the very, very butt end of this was uh, Danica. She's like, uh, I wonder how much money I can make by 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 selling off Miles' secret identity. Wow. Wow. But she's offered a lot of money, apparently. I don't know. How would any of us feel if that much money was offered? Anyway, guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University, class dismissed.